last meeting and reached out to our local customer service rep who I was dealing with for the CD unit out at um, Miller Business Park. And Ms. Lou helped me out. She found some modes of delivery written in there, I guess their bylaws or whatever. And it's, um, said a grant can be approved by the postmaster for single point delivery in certain parks. So I pointed that out, said, can we request this at least until we get another business in the park? He checked with his higher-ups and they denied that request. Um, so I got put a call into the actual postmaster. I haven't heard anything back yet, so we'll see how far we can get with it. But um, just wanted to get you on the table with that. On, on the street where my, my office is, um, there have been several instances of people taking stuff out of the mailboxes. Out of, and, out of the boxes? Uh, we, have, we, have, we have a box by, the, by the street. Um, and I think that RST Construction um, made, made some, um, was sending some mail out with some checks in it. Oh, wow. um, and, and anybody that's, so, so Miller Business Park is at night in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. And so people get in there, I mean, you can have gates, you can have whatever you want. You wouldn't dare put anything in those mailboxes. And so what they want to do is, in my estimation, enhance the ability of people to steal your mail. <laughs> and I'd be more than glad down to go down there with you and, and ask them about that, if, if they get someone out there and watch that mailbox for them. I mean, there's only one, you know. Or, I personally would not put anything in my mailbox outdoor. I mean, I'm gonna go put it, I'm gonna put it down at the post office. I'm going to slide it in the slot. And if you haven't had your mail, well, have you got a slot in your door? No, it's a, well, it's not much. If you want to We're going to let Stan finish. Oh, and, um, and that concludes my report. Thank you. Now that we've got